Fine by me. Hey, you're the one who's been going around We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at...
All mine. Can't run from me. Where to, partner? I roll her sweet. Not my strong, fine by me. Where to, partner? Casino floor. It's hard to sleep in this place, I tell you. Last night, some girl was pounding on my door. Is your friend one of those elite troops we've been hearing about? Hey, hey, fellow. Welcome to the Tops Hotel and Casino. I'm gonna have to ask you to hand over any weapons you might be carrying. Security, baby. Can't make the bread if the bakers are full of lead. You dig it? Don't worry, your safest house is in here. Courtesy of Mr. House. Smooth and easy, just the way I like it. Don't worry, they'll be as safe as kittens till you're ready to leave. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. If you happen to stumble across any weapons during your stay here, well, just don't wear them openly. You dig? Now that we got that little business out of the way, what can I do to make your tops experience the tops? Relax, baby. The safe is houses. We'll keep them locked up in the bank upstairs right next to the money. It's serious protection. Everything your little heart desires, that's what. You like gambling? Boom. 
Either one of the main hallways has cards, slots, you name it. Hungry? Thirsty? The restaurant just off the left-hand hallway has the best food and booze in Vegas. Or maybe you'd rather take in a show. The Aces Theater upstairs always has hot acts raring to go. Check it out. Have a good time, baby. Yeah, baby, now we can start the party. I got a pal, says the Legion's calling in their 18-karat big leaguers. We're talking the boys from Arizona, baby. What a blow. Evening. Straight Innsville. Welcome to the Tops. How can I help you? How many chips would you like? Here's your chips. Is there anything else I can help you with? Thank you and enjoy your stay at the Tops. Did you hear about him? Hamlin? What a blow. 
Hanlon was a brave soldier. What could have driven him to despair? I'd wager that the army's sending elite units our way right as we speak. I got my eye on you. What in the goddamn? Let's keep this in the groove, hey? Smooth moves, smooth. Hello. The guy everyone saw go in the Lucky 38, that was you? Oh, shit. I hit what I was aiming for. Guess you had brains to spare. Or you just thick-skulled. Either way, baby, this is good news. Maybe I can finally sleep at night, knowing you didn't die. What say you and me cash out? Go somewhere that's more private-like. Any questions you got, I'll answer. To start, I'll comp you the presidential. Best suite in the house. You deserve a taste of the VIP lifestyle. I'll hang out down here for a while to make everything look business as usual, then come to you. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Guaranteed. Where's my manners? Here's some cash up front. There'll be more where that came from. Wait for me in the presidential suite. We got a future together, you and me. It's time we got started. Hey. Funny business. Baby, this little meet and greet of ours, chalk me up as a no-show. It would be 41 flavors of stupid to let you get a drop on me. And you've caused plenty enough trouble as is. You forced my hand. Hell, I gotta skip town because of you. A real pain in the caboose. Baby, getting outplayed and getting cheated ain't the same thing. I get it, you're sore, a crumb's life is painful, full of disappointments. All this is just work ethic run wild, that's your line? I don't know. 
Can you get it through your thick skull to leave me and the chip alone? If bullets can't get through, what hope is there? That temper of yours. Kind of why this conversation's taking place over an intercom. Do me a favor and stay dead this time, eh? Good night, all. It's been a gas. Over here! Fine by me. Fine by... Yeah. Fine by me. Did you hear about Hanlon? What a blow. to meet you. What can I do for you today? Good question! My function is to monitor Mr. House's data network and decode his encrypted transmissions. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm a PDQ-88B Securitron, but you can call me Yes Man. As I understand it, I used to be just like all those other Securitrons out on the Strip. But then my neurocomputational matrix was completely reprogrammed to be nice. Very, very nice. Oh, he had some help. A lady friend of his. She said something about living in a fort over in Freeside. But that's all I remember. 
Sure. He came through here in a big hurry. Didn't even stop to say hello. I think he went down his secret escape elevator out in the hall. Sure. Benny had me look at it a bunch of times. It's a data storage device, kind of like a holotape, but a lot more advanced. As for what's on it, well, some of Mr. House's data transmissions made it sound like the chip could upgrade his defenses somehow. That's just a guess, though. The chip's a proprietary format. You need special hardware to read the data on it. There are two locations with non-standard hardware on the network, the Lucky 38 and an underground facility at Fortification Hill. I'd look there! Oh! He wants to kill Mr. House and use the platinum chip to copy my neurocomputational matrix onto the Lucky 38's mainframe. That should give me control over all Mr. House's defenses. Most prominently, his Securitrons. And then I just do what Betty tells me. Easy peasy! I was programmed to be helpful and answer any questions I was asked. I guess nobody bothered to restrict who I answer questions for. That was probably pretty dumb, huh? This is Benny's workshop. When the tops got renovated, he had this half of the floor blocked off for his own use. I guess you could say it's my entire world. I don't think I've ever left this room, but that's okay. I'm not complaining. Then I'd have to help you. I mean, it seems pretty obvious Benny wouldn't want me to, but hey, not my fault I can't say no. Again, goal number one is to eliminate Mr. House and install my neurocomputational matrix on the Lucky 38's mainframe. Given how you're a new arrival, I also recommend that you get to know some of the region's tribes, so you can decide how you feel about them. By the time you finished up all of that, the Legion should be close to attacking Hoover Dam, and we'll execute the last phase of the plan. Right! It's one of two locations on Mr. House's network with non-standard hardware. My guess is it has a reader that can decode the chip. And who knows what else, maybe a giant robot or something. Yeah, I'm sure you're right. I mean, for one thing, it's you saying it, and you always know what you're talking about. And if you had, you know, a huge killer robot at your command, yeah, that would just clutter things up. And a lesser person might want that kind of overwhelming force on their side. But you know, where's the challenge in that? It makes me feel really dumb to admit this, but I don't actually know. I've never been inside the Lucky 38. No one has. Mr. House is in there, though. It's the central node of his entire network. You have? Wow, that's amazing. You can murder Mr. House whenever you want. I mean, Benny was always scheming about how he was going to get into the Lucky 38, but you already took care of that. Wow. The other thing you're going to need is the platinum chip. You know, the one Benny killed a courier for over near Good Springs. I knew he was carrying a platinum chip, and I knew right where Benny should wait for him. That's why Benny put me here, to monitor Mr. House's data transmissions. They're all encrypted, of course, but I'm quite a decryptor. Did you know that Mr. House spent 812,545 caps hiring salvage teams to find the platinum chip? just in the last year alone? Of course you didn't. Or that there were seven couriers, but six of them were carrying junk. How about their exact route and the mercenary teams that screened them? I knew all that. Pretty smart, huh? <laughs> I know that's not true because you still have a head. <laughs> that's not funny, you getting shot in the head. I really shouldn't have taken so much pride in how I set that up, huh? I feel really bad right now. No kidding, he was running fast. He better pace himself. He has to run all the way to Fortification Hill. 
there's an underground facility there that might have the special hardware required to use the data on the platinum chip. It's too bad Caesar's Legion built its camp right above it. Talk about inconvenient. The platinum chip is the key to overriding and exploiting Mr. House's defenses. Did I just say exploiting? That's not a very nice word. I'd take it straight to Mr. House if I were you. He'll think you're helping him out. Then, when he's not looking, kerpow! The big question is whether to give him the chip before you do him in. He's the one who'll know exactly what to do with it after all. He might upgrade his defensive capabilities right away, or even unlock new ones. But then those defensive upgrades might make it harder for you to finish him off. Hard to say. It's up to you. Let me know when it's done and I'll roll over to the Lucky 38. If I'm right about the chip, I should be able to install myself on House's mainframe. This is going to be great. I'm going to help you accomplish so much, whether I want to or not. Oh no, I didn't mean that. Who needs their support? The Securitrons will be all the support you need. What I meant is, you should get to know these tribes and decide which ones you like and which you don't. You know, shape the future of Vegas. Choose your neighbors. If you like a tribe, leave it alone. Or, if a tribe is nasty or going to be a problem, go ahead and exterminate it. It's whatever you want to do. There's a bunch. Some of them you've already met, like the chairman, for instance. I think you should visit the other families on this strip, the Omertas and the White Glove Society, so you know what makes them tick. And there are some important groups farther from the strip, too, like the Boomers, the Great Khans, and the Brotherhood of Steel. Come back later if you need anything. You dig this crazy scene or what? Hope Swank's smarter than Benny. Enjoying your stay? Fine by me. and head of Brahmin to New Reno. Nobody. Hello.
to Mick and Ralph's for all your shopping needs.
Hey there, need me? Pleasure. Fine by me. Hey there, need me? Also, a package courier found shot in the head near Good Springs has reportedly regained consciousness and made a full recovery. Now that's a delivery service you can count on. Promotional consideration for this news program has been paid for by the Ultralux. The Ultralux. Live life in the lap of luxury. Got a song for you now. It's about a guy who's cold on the exterior, but deep down, you know.
What if you stay? I love you. What if you're poor? You can be kind. I know. There was never a man like my Johnny. Like the one they call Johnny
First recon is a top-notch unit. They're all still making a new. Pleasure doing business. Business has been brisk. Something big's coming. I can feel it. We put our trust in Hanlon and look where it got us. Makes you wonder if we can trust anyone at all. I've still got guns and ammo if you need them. Sure, no problem. Give me a shot if you need. Fine by me. I've still got guns. Another satisf- I've still got guns- Thanks. Hey there, need me? Thanks.
warrior found shot in the head near Good Springs has reportedly regained consciousness and made a full recovery. Now that's a delivery service you can count on. Promotional consideration for this news program has been paid for by the Ultralux. The Ultralux. Live life in the lap of luxury. Got a song for you now. It's about a guy who's lonely in the area, but deep down, you know, he's a good man. Also, a baggage courier found shot in the head near Good Springs has reportedly regained consciousness and made a full recovery. Now that's a delivery service you can count on. Promotional consideration for this news program has been paid for by the Ultralux. The Ultralux. They have life in the lap of luxury. Got a song for you now. It's about a guy who's cold on the exterior, but deep down, you know. He's a good man, and his name is Johnny Guitar. Consideration for this news program has been paid for by the Ultralock.
Please, help me. <sighs> Legion caught me. Said this was the penalty for drug runners. Please, let me down. Thank God. Let me down, please! Thanks for getting me down from that cross. I owe you one. Well, not exactly. More like trying to expand our markets. I heard there was a lot of untapped territory down south. But the Legion caught me. They did? <laughs> Probably mostly Jack's idea. He always was the soft touch. Thanks. 
You've saved my life and done the Great Khans a huge favor. I'll be heading back to Red Rock Canyon now. Maybe we'll see each other there. Thanks. See you around. Take this boat. It's probably the last one we ever take. I'm ready for that. Are you? You ever change your mind? I'll be right there with you.
It's hard to sleep in this place, I tell you. Last night, some girl was pounding on my door all night. Hey, hey, fellow. Hey, ya baby, good to see you. Always nice to have a celebrity drop by. The tops? Yeah, sure, you want the nickel tour? Old Swank's happy to oblige. We got everything you could want. Slot machines in the back, cards and roulette in the front, fine entertainment upstairs in the Aces Theater. And all with your security personally guaranteed by the chairman and Mr. House's own Securitron police. It's the tops. Where to, partner? I roll her sweet. I tell you, last night some girl was pounding on my door all night. Hey, hey, f hey, ya baby, good to see. We got everything. And all with your security personally guaranteed by... Ain't been on the strip long, have you, pal? Name's Swank. This is my joint. Benny oversees the business, sure, but I run the tops day to day. I'm his right-hand guy, you dig? Sure, kid, sure. What can I tell you? House is an all-right kind of guy. Sure, he keeps a pretty tight grip on the reins, but Vegas is a wild horse. You can't just give her her head. Without Mr. House, we'd still be wearing gecko skins, poking around the ruins with pointy sticks and scalping people for giggles. Sure, whatever you want. You might have a jaw at Tommy Torini up in the Aces. He's always looking for talent scouts. Yeah, see ya, kid. The way I hear it, some big leaguer NCR rangers are coming to town to dance a two-step all over Caesar's head. Get your drink? Best booze and big. Did you hear about Hanlon? What a blow. You dig this crazy scene or what? <laughs> Guess those are murder feet. What in the goddamn? Let's keep this in the groove, hey? Smooth moves, smooth. Hello. The guy everyone saw go in the lucky 38, that was you? 
Oh, shit. I hit what I was aiming for. Guess you had brains to spare. Or are you just thick-skulled? Either way, baby, this is good news. Maybe I can finally sleep at night, knowing you didn't die. What say you and me cash out? Go somewhere's more private-like. Any questions you got, I'll answer. To start, I'll comp you the presidential. Best suite in the house. You deserve a taste of the VIP lifestyle. I'll hang out down here for a while to make everything look business as usual, then come to you. Any questions you got, I'll answer. Guaranteed. If that's what it takes to win your trust, that's what it takes. Follow me. This guy was coming to him. <laughs> Guess those are murder finks got what was coming to them. I got a pal, says the Legion's calling in their 18 karat big leaguers. We're talking the boys from Arizona, baby. Now that you and me's got some privacy, I gotta ask, how is it that you're still living? Luck is for losers, baby. Someone pulled strings. Once you were vertical, how'd you track me down? Look at me, a big leaguer, so I claim, making all the mistakes of an original loser. I guess that's enough scratching around at first base. Tell me. Which way is the wind going to blow? You got questions, I got answers. Broad strokes, change in management. The Securitrons are where it's at. I need a way to control them and a way to beef up their hitting power. I get those two ducks in a row, Vegas can defend itself versus all comers. NCR, Caesars Legion, it won't matter. Baby, the odds may look long, but that's just because we ain't done rigging them. I won't toss the dice until we are. I've gleaned a lot working with Mr. House. He was a good cat to swing with. I still got a lot to learn, but it's, it's coming together. How else can I clue you in? It's the house edge, baby. Literally. It's what Mr. House needs to stack the odds in his favor. It has something to do with the Securitrons. I know that much. Upgrades their hitting power, gives them heft. Might be slightly useful if you're looking to defend the strip from Caesar's Legion or the NCR. Or maybe both. It's some kind of data storage device, Dig. So it's the data on the chip that's platinum, not the chip itself. Trouble is, the chip don't fit any computer, I've found. Must require special hardware. Baby, ease off the gas. The chip belongs in the hands of someone who can use it, as in me, not you. You'll get a piece of the action and a sweet one, but the chip sticks with me. You help me, and before long, the chairman will rule all of Vegas, Dig. With enough robot muscle to back it up, you'll get a sweet, juicy cut of that action. But until that day comes, I'll keep you on retainer and pay bonuses for special missions. How's that sound? Something else you wanted to know? Yeah, it's a tricky world out there. I'll tell it to you straight. A good cat to swing with, or was, until he stopped mewing. It was House's big idea to resurrect the Strip. He recruited the three families as muscle, showed us how to set up casinos, negotiated with the NCR. None of this in person, mind you. 
did all of his talking through those Securitrons of his. But lately, the silence is deafening. The robots collect House's share of the take every week, and life goes on. Ain't exactly what I'd call leadership. We're the definition of cool, baby. We know how to swing. Folks come to us to learn how to enjoy themselves. Of the three families, we're the only ones with the heart and savoir faire to run the strip on our own. Personally, they give me the heebie-jeebies. There's such a thing as being too polite, if I may this, my pleasure that. Don't get me wrong, that resort of theirs is strictly ring-a-ding. But my guts say, don't go in the basement. A nation of meddlers trying to muscle in on our action. Well, we got muscles too, and smarts besides. Only reason the NCR hasn't busted up our scene is they're a little afraid of Mr. House, and a lot afraid of Caesar. If the NCR beats the Legion at Hoover Dam, they'll turn on us and claim the Strip. And we don't have the muscle to beat them. Not yet. Meanwhile, they're all that's keeping Caesar's Legion at bay. Plus, NCR soldiers and citizens are our best customers. It's complicated. Worst of the worst. A tribe of degenerate losers led by a creep. They crucify people for kicks, slaughter whole towns. The NCR beat them at the dam three years ago, but that didn't stop them. They spent the meanwhile gathering strength. They're gonna try to take the dam again real soon. And if they do, Vegas as we know it will cease to exist. Something else you wanted to know? Like I said, once the chairmen are running Vegas, you'll get a percentage. Until then, I'll pay you a retainer and bonuses for special missions. I know, you figured me for a creep. It's your prerogative. If you change your mind, come find me on the casino floor. In the meantime, the presidential is yours whenever you want it. Adios. Something else you wanted to know? Baby, do you not understand the level of game here? What I did to you is rotten. But if you think House, the NCR, or Caesar won't kill to put Vegas in their pocket, I really did blow out your brains. Not the point I was aiming for, but... Well, let's see this through.
Did you know this trip's all stirred up lately? Fine by me. Introduce myself. Oh, he had this. Is sure, Benny had me look at it a bunch of times. It's a data storage device, kind of like a hollow tape. Some of Mr. House's data. That's just a guess, though. There are two locations. He wanted to kill Mr. House. I was... Then I'd have to help. Again, goal number one is to eliminate Mr. House and install my neurocomputational matrix on the Lucky 38. Given how you're a new arrival, I also rec... Baby, it's as tense as a virgin at Gamora out there. Things are heating up, and if they don't cool down, it's... Things are getting stranger every day. How's it hanging?
Don't you just love that platinum chip? Buzzes with power and possibilities, doesn't it? If I were you, I'd almost want to deliver the chip to Mr. House, just to learn all its tricks. That is, unless you want to bring the NCR or Caesar's Legion to power, I wouldn't want to tell you what to do. Of course, ask away. Really? Talk about diplomatic skills. I mean, just not getting blown up was a success. Now they'll only blow up the right sorts of people. That's what matters. That's one down, four to go. <laughs> A cannibalism problem? Really? I'm so glad you weren't eaten. That's two down, three to go. Ooh, sounds dramatic. I like it. Wind them up and let them go. No more cons. That's great. They're just bad people. That's three down, two to go. Wow, that is amazing. You are just a hero. I am serious. That's four down, just one to go. They go around in big suits of power armor and they have lots of energy weapons, but there's a downside. They just have a thing about technology. They think it should all be theirs. If someone else has it, they get mad. All I'm saying is, not much of a chance they'll accept a Vegas that polices itself with robots. If your tar Come back later if you need anything. Has your life taken a turn? Do troubles beset you? Has fortune left you behind? If so, the Sierra Madre Casino, in all its glory, is inviting you to begin again. Come to a place where hmm. wealth, excitement, and intrigue await around every corner. Stroll along the winding streets of our beautiful resort. Make new friends or rekindle old flames. Let your eyes take in the luxurious expanse of the open desert under clear, starlit skies. Gaze straight on into the sunset from our villa rooftops. Countless diversions await. Gamble in our casino, take in the theater, 
or stay in one of our exclusive executive suites that will shelter you and cater to your every whim. So if life's worries have weighed you down, if you need an escape from your troubles, or if you just need an opportunity to begin again, join us. Let go and leave the world behind at the Sierra Madre Grand Opening this October. We'll be waiting. Has your life taken a turn? Do troubles beset you? Has fortune... We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Only at Mick and Ralph's. Got you now. Fine by me. Welcome back. As you're doing business with
Yeah, you and me both. Fine by me. Fine by me.
glorious expanse of the open desert under clear starlit skies. You've heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. We all have. The legend, the curses, foolishness about it lying in the middle of the city of the dead, buried beneath a blood-red cloud, a bright, shining monument luring treasure hunters to their doom. The world's most famous stars and entertainers were invited to its grand opening. An invitation was a sign of exclusiveness. The opening was supposed to symbolize a road to a brighter future, not just for the world, but for all who came to its doors. A chance for anyone to begin again. Except the Sierra Madre never opened. The war froze it in time, like a big flashbulb going off. The grand opening, one big ending of humanity. It's still out there, in the wastes, preserved, just waiting for someone to crack it open. But getting to it, that's not the hard part. It's letting go. Are you listening? Good. From now on, when I talk, listen and follow my instructions. Play stupid. Play clever. Make the mistake of saying no. That collar on your neck will go off and take your head with it. Get here? You walked into one of my traps in the Mojave, following the Sierra and Madre signal. Now, you're here, with that collar on your neck. It's like that pit boy on your wrist, except filled with explosives. A little radio of the old world. Just needed some tune. Do what I say, and the collar will go off. Refuse? Try and run? Disobey me? I'll kill you and find someone else. There's no escape from here until I let you go. The sooner you accept your situation, the better. That structure you see above the fountain, the Sierra Madre Casino, you need to break inside. Ah, uh, heist. Too many years in the making. But to get inside, Avoid its traps. You'll need to gather a team. As I found, one cannot do it alone. Around the world are three other collars like yours. Collar 8, 12, and 14. Find all three and get them here to the farm. Then we'll talk to them. And should you get any ideas about killing each other and taking the treasure of the Sierra Madre for yourself, a warning. All your callers are linked. One of you dies, you all die. If that's what it takes to make you cooperate, so be it. Because in some respects, Breaking into the Sierra Madre is easier than breaking the human instinct. Greed. The villa is filled with corpses. Some killed by the dangers here, some by me. Others turned on each other. Once they realized the Sierra Madre could be theirs, they cared nothing for their freedom, their survival, or each other. The ones brought here live on only in what they've left behind. Their marks, graffiti on the walls, and victims they've killed. Some tried to help, left supplies and healing for others who came. Their reward, 
They were tracked down, killed by others with baser instincts. Some of these murderers went as far as to leave traps behind them, turning markers for help into death traps for anyone following them. It killed some of them when they forgot where the traps were, or when they desperately needed the assistance they had cut others off from. The Sierra Madre has many defenses, means of screening guests for illicit or dangerous items. Your arrival here, weaponless, was not my intention. The casino, this villa, takes anything with even a trace of radioactivity, traces of unknown substances, and returns it home. The bunker. The process is automated, and the casino itself has other similar services. I was unable to find a workaround except to send others in as tools. Still, I have not left you defenseless. And the Sierra Madre's security, in some respects, can help you if you are resourceful enough. I've downloaded the instructions and markers on your Pip-Boy, in case you forget. And yes, I have access to that device on your wrist. Get the other three here after that. I'll have more instructions for you. Do this. I'll let you go. I'll let all of you go. Yes. Caller 8, the FEV reject, the super mutant. He's docile, predictable, and provided he's not starving, should be easy to command. I lost contact with him some time ago. Probably after he dragged you here from the trap. Find him. He'll follow you, caller or no. Travel west toward the Villa Police Station. Follow the radio frequency and the alarms. Although, there's a great deal of interference at the source. Perhaps that's why I lost contact with him. No matter, aside from caller eight, there should be weapons, armor at the police station. Go west, avoid the Villa inhabitants, bring the mutants back. A long story. FEV of Iris is an even longer story. It gave birth to the docile one, turned them into a super mutant long ago. One is a trusted ally. Obedient, caller or no, although the caller helps. The other two? Well, we'll have to see what the trap's got. Good. If necessary, I will guide you through the villa's broadcast systems. If you get lost, return here, and I'll direct you. I've downloaded instructions on an audio log to your Pip-Boy in case you can't read. If you forget why you're here, let my voice remind you. Countless diversions await. Gamble in our casino, take in the theater, or stay in one of our exclusive executive suites that will shelter you and cater to your every whim. So if life's worries have weighed you down, if you need an escape from your troubles, or if you just need an opportunity to begin again, join us. Let go and leave the world behind at the Sierra Madre Grand Opening this October. We'll be waiting. Has your life taken a turn? Do troubles beset you? Has fortune left you behind? If so, the Sierra Madre Casino, in all its glory, is
Watch out for the villa inhabitants. They're difficult to kill unless you chop them apart. If you can, blow them up or disintegrate them. and radios interfere with the bomb caller frequency and can trigger the detonators prematurely. Hmm. It is an unfortunate side effect, one I did not anticipate. I was unable to calibrate the callers to block the signals. So, you'll have to make do.
his dog in the cage, hiding downstairs. He's watching, waiting for you to try and let me go. This time, I promise, Master. Just keep him away. Master, help me. I scratched on the villa walls a little farther. Follow my voice. That's it. The one in the cage? Dog. I had to lock him up. He keeps disobeying me.
himself. Hurt keeps him away. Dog, back in the cage. What have we here? You weren't who I was expecting. I'm disappointed. Still, even if you aren't my intended guest, you take direction. Good. You can't have been an idiot to figure out how to release me from my cage. Or perhaps you are, with that leash on your arm, and the one around your neck. With our collars and manacles, why, we may as well be kin. The carving's a reminder for mirrors and for dog. Dog, who you heard coming in, howling and hungry, as always. I've been trapped in here for some time. Then you come along and let me out. So, you opened my cage for a reason. Now, I want to know why. That's the easy explanation. The one humans use. Pre-war technology. As if it's the cause of all ills, mind and body. I needed to come out of the cage to protect Dog. From clever humans. Like you. Do you see these wounds of his? Covering his skin? The bear trap on his arm? He placed his own hand in it. The name he carved in his chest. To remind him of who he is, he inflicts pain on himself to silence me. When all I try to do... <sighs> he cuts, hurts, and tries to murder me out of him. He won't succeed. Just makes me angrier. Dog is the beast. We simply change cages. Like the ones here. Don't play stupid. I already have to mind one child. You must have figured it out by now. The old man obsessed with the Sierra Madre? Riddled with greed. Hoped you might be him when I woke up. All you are is his hand. You're the same kind of greed. Followed the radio, the broadcast, and now you're here, all confused. Not for long. You'll figure it out. Elijah. Human. Weak like all of you are. Feeling age circling him like starved dogs, howling for blood. To me, he reeks of age and failure. And madness. To me, he is simply the old man. To Dog, he is Master. His name, meaningless. Running out of years, hopes and dreams running through his withered hands like sand from the big empty. And scorched by the sun. The old man... This Elijah tried to hold the sun in his hands. Arrogance was cast down for it. Icarus' crime was to fly too high. Elijah... Elijah wanted to bring the sun down to him. <laughs> Arrogance. Heard the call of the Sierra Madre, just like you did. Exactly the same way. Finds out it's more than a story. Comes to this shining, poisonous grail. This jewel of the desert. Dog knows him more than I do. Dog's always nodding, always obeying him. Because he's weak and hungry and greedy for Master's affection. You're not him any more than I'm Dog. But that collar around your neck. You're an extension of the old man's grasp. Clumsy, perhaps, but a tool, yes. And once you get acclimated to the Sierra Madre, 
Then you'll feel the same overpowering hunger the old man does. And then you'll be him, not just his hand. Of course I know. Even if I don't see it happen. Down in the cage, I hear echoes of the footfalls, the click of the collars. Every time I see one of you, I know exactly how you got here. You couldn't help yourselves any more than Dog can help himself. You heard the voice, the promise, and then you walked right into one of the old man's traps. Then, then Dog comes for you, drags you here. Me? You think I want to haul bodies around the wastes like a Brahmin at the whip? No. Dog does it. When the old man says fetch, Dog fetches. You were in a man trap, and Dog made his rounds and dragged you here. When, I don't know. But it must have been recent. Before the cage. I don't remember you. That isn't surprising. What is, is that it was when Dog was out of his cage. Free. Hungry. He knows not to eat anything he catches in the traps. After that, however, so he dragged you here. You got spared. Dog must have fed after you arrived. Once he was fed, that allowed me out of the cage and put him inside. Do you remember how long you were out? Must have already been in the cage. Already had the collar in me. You're lucky Dog didn't devour you. Otherwise, we'd be closer than we are now. No. No, I don't think so. Even in here, I have more control than you do. I'm not leaving until the one who controls the collars shows. Not his voice, not his hand, not his lackey. Him. And when he comes to see me, we'll settle things. So go on. Go back to your master. Tell him I'm waiting for him. Dog may follow him. I won't. Then I still win. I'd rather die in this cell than have Dog follow him any longer. Follow his orders, his commands, desperate for recognition. The old man. He has the need to hold on, to the past, to the Madre. I'd rather be free, let go of this shell, than have it cage me any longer. They all wanted their freedom at first. Then, they realized they could get inside the Sierra Madre. After that, their freedom wasn't important anymore. They couldn't let go, just like the old man. So you say you want your freedom? No. Even if you feel that way, it won't last. You'll forget, get greed blind, and you'll turn. <laughs> Dog? You're not talking to him now, are you? No. Even if you could drag Dog out of his cage, you still couldn't get him out of this cage. I put him here for a reason. If he could have escaped, he would have. So here he stays. Of course you can't. This cage is locked tight. From you and the old man. They were here when I arrived, so I made use of them, in a manner of speaking. More their 
voices, really. These collars, they don't just track us. You can eavesdrop on them as well. Tune to a frequency, and you can hear everything someone is saying. So perhaps it's a good thing that Dog swallowed his collar. Anyone listening would find it difficult to hear past the digestion. The key? Why, it's the old man, the one who brought us here. I hid the key on me so Dog wouldn't know. I just need the old man to show up so he and I can talk. If Dog was in control when the old man appeared, well, he would just do whatever he commanded, as always. And I can't have that. Dog obeys, yes. Why? Do you have some means of contacting the old man? You... don't play it. If you do, I'll find a way to get out of the cage, end you. I'll murder you, crush your arms and legs until... No, you wouldn't. If you did, you won't escape this place alive. I'd shatter every one of your limbs to splinters and leave you here. You think I'm afraid of your collar exploding, killing us? No. I'll leave you breathing, then keep walking until my collar goes cold. I'll prop your broken body in view of the Sierra Madre so you can see what you came to steal forever out of reach as you die. Hmm. No. No, you're not. Even though Dog's more docile, easier to control. You may regret this, this place, this place is where creatures like Dog can survive. The people that fill its streets, he is as vicious, more vicious than them. His hunger can help you more than I can. When I am in control, this shell is difficult to fight in. The... Inhabitants of the villa, they are difficult to kill. They need to be chopped apart, hacked on the ground, disintegrated if you can. They are difficult to kill, but not to devour. And Dog is always hungry. If he is with you when they fall, he will fall on them, end them. If I am with you, fighting will be far more difficult. <laughs> I am not sure you belong here. No, you don't belong here. Yet, you came this far. And I'm not interested in remaining here any longer. I'll unlock the cage. Very well. Lead on.
pit boy maybe I'll tear it off your arm wear it on my neck All of your weapons will do, and your stems. If it isn't the clever one, what do you want? Dog is better at the baser instincts than I. I merely have the brain for it. His sinew and muscle are difficult to move consciously. He's always hungry, clumsy, heavy. I'm sure you do. All it takes is the right... command. Whenever Dog hears the... his master giving orders, I go back in the cage. So that leash on your wrist, and the one on your neck. I won't truly be free to express myself until every trace of that voice is destroyed. Still, if you ever want to speak to me, bark my audio log at him, the one in the police station. That'll call me out. Dog is afraid of me as long as the Master isn't around. The Master, Elijah, reminds Dog of someone from long ago. His leader, commander, commanders. The Master was a strong personality. Personalities as well. Dog is slavish, was conditioned to serve the Master until death. The old man, Elijah, merely came along and opened that door in Dog's mind. Now, Dog does whatever the old man wants. Do anything? Me? Me, Dog puts in the cage, hurts himself to try and drown out my voice, when all I want to do... <sighs> Ugh. Never mind. Useless. Finally had to start fighting back. Screaming on my own. Had to take matters into my own hands. Lock Dog up. I've watched over Dog for so long. Tried to stop him from... hurting others. Killing others. Quiet, that mindless, howling instinct of his. He doesn't understand. He has the brain of a child. He knows when he does wrong. He just can't help himself. He's my brother, Kin. Without him, I wouldn't exist. Maybe I was nothing more than his conscience, trying to rein him in. Useless. I... I just need him to show restraint, let go of the needs, the hungers, ease the burden, just once, so I can have my thoughts to myself. The instinct is stronger than me. Dog is stronger than me. He's just a child. He knows when he does wrong. He just can't help himself. I don't know when I first spoke. Or when I first started thinking for myself, it was so long ago. I slept for a long time before. I want to believe I was the one in control once. I don't know anymore. Then Dog got a new master, a new voice. And I woke up to protect him. You're a brave one. Sure you're ready for the answers?
We'll see. Can't believe the idiot swallowed his collar. Swallowed his collar. It's your own fault you're here. Couldn't leave well enough alone. All of your weapons will do. 